Hi guys, welcome to Watch Dog Central. Today I'm going to be bringing you another beautiful email section special. There's going to be swearing in this video because there's a lot of fuckwittery going on with these comments. I've built up about 20 of the most wonderful fuckwitted comments that I've seen over the last month and a half, two months, and I'm going to read them out to you. And also, before I start this, I just want to clarify there's at least 20, 25 people that have asked me to make a video on this whole Mr. Repzion, Mr. SXY Phil drama that's been going on in the internet lately. I won't be sticking a video up about it on the basis and the facts that I couldn't give two flying fucks about it. Just let them get on with it. Let all the fanboys fight amongst themselves and do what they want to do. It's a load of bullshit as far as I'm concerned. I'm not getting involved with it. Um, of course, I have seen at least three YouTubers defending Mr. Repsion in this, and the three YouTubers who are doing it, from what I've seen, now, I'm not naming any names here, but I'm just going to tell there's a load of people that put videos up on it, but it's three people in particular who are bandwagon jumpers, and they're parasites who leech off of other YouTubers bigger than them to get views, and there's at least three in particular that have made at least over 100 new subscribers over the last three, four days since they've done it. I think they're disgusting parasites and I won't be jumping on that bandwagon. Okay, now we've got that out of the way, let's get on with the email section special. Okay, so here's the first comment I got. This was on the YouTube Partner Thieves Who Steal Your Shit video about Ray William Johnson. I call him a thief because back before the whole fair usage thing came along. You know the vids usually get more views after Ray William Johnson features them. That's a proven fact. I'm sorry, yeah, but... When did I state that it wasn't a proven fact that once he sticks or steals other people's videos and then he plays them on his channel that they don't get more views? That wasn't the point I was trying to make. The whole point I was trying to make was he, he stole them in the first fucking place, you dildo. Okay, what, what part of that don't you understand? You m fucktard. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is the first one, okay. I'm... <sighs> okay, comment posted on top five YouTube whores. Wow, dude, you are, he spelt you are, just the letters, you are, you are fucking retarded. If I could earn money from YouTube, I would do everything, full caps for the word everything, because we, we just wouldn't understand it unless you put it in full fucking caps. I would do everything, everything to get more money out of it. I know you would, and do you know why you would do that? Because you, you're a fucking whore, you are a whore. I would do anything to get more money out of it, product placement or whatever. You've just proven my point. I mean, I'm calling Phil DeFranco a whore. You're trying to defend him by stating that you would do anything, absolutely anything, to make more fucking money. What does, it, what does that tell you? You fucking dildo. <sighs> Number two. I'm going to delete these to go along because I never want to see them again. This is the third one. Posted on the how many YouTube partner channels do you need, Phil DeFranco? I was doing this just to wind him up a little. I don't like Phil DeFranco. I think he's a prick. And is it a crime to make more money than you? WTF. Also, he talks about all the important things and hot topics. <sighs> Never stated he didn't. Well, the hot topics anyway. Also, he has only two channels, not six, not eight, but two. Well, I'm glad you can fucking count. At least one of his fanboys can count. And he doesn't mislead people as much as you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send this personally out to insert name and stuff, that's your username. If you could find one single video out of my, I'm on video 201 now. If you could find one video out of all the 201 videos, where I misleaded or gave false information. Please, provide me with the evidence. Please, let me, let me see it, you prick. I don't know why you, have, you feel like you have to lie for just to defend your master on YouTube. Okay, this was on the how many YouTube partner channels do you need Phil DeFranco? I've got a lot of Phil DeFranco. Phil DeFranco fans don't like me for some reason. I don't know why. I've done nothing, well I have, but well, I can't, can't we all just get along? Obviously not. One of them is a vlog and the other is for news. You are just jealous because probably don't have a partner channel. I'm not a partner yet, am I? I'm going to have to work very, very hard to become a partner. 
you know, not, I mean, where in my video did I state that I was jealous because I wasn't a partner yet? I'm not a partner, I'm going to have to work very hard to become a partner. I mean, you didn't see the banner or anything, did you, on the top of my channel? You didn't see any of that shit, but, you know, oh, that I've got... I can use the misleading cap shots if I feel, but I choose not to. You'll always see this ugly fucking face on any of the cap shots, unless it's a picture of my beautiful dog called Benny. But go down any of my cap shots and see whether you see any misleading bullshit on any of them. Okay. Ah, good old dot dot curve. We're getting back onto the scene kid stuff here. Let's see what a dot dot curve fan thinks. Dot dot curve are my favourite group. Of course they are. And this song went straight over your head. You got that fucking right, it did. It went... Whew, fucking miss that motherfucker hard. It went right over your head. I'm sure you understand. Or I'm sure you understood Bob Dylan. Because someone explained his lyrics to you. Uh, first off, you're assuming that I like Bob Dylan. You're assuming that I know Bob Dylan's lyrics. Why? Where did I ever state... I've seen Bob Dylan live once, in back in 96, I've seen him play with Eric Clapton and The Who were doing Quadrophenia at Hyde Park in London, very good day out, and Alanis Morissette was there, just shooting the breeze with you here, but I don't own any of his albums, I, I, don't even, I barely even know any of his songs, I don't listen to the guy's music, Bob Dylan, but are you honestly trying to compare Bob Dylan to Dot Dot Curve on the lyrics? Because I know, for, I, I do know about Bob Dylan, and I know his lyrics are deep and meaningful, and he's a great writer. I do know that from what I've read and been told about the guy. But how you could sit down there and compare Bob Dylan's lyrics to Dot Dot Curves is fucking beyond me. Because I actually did read out on my Dot Dot Curves Sucks video the lyrics to their song, and it is the most ridiculous bullshit I've ever heard in my life. It's literally on the same level, the lyrics that come out of Blood on the Dance Floor songs. It's a fucking disgrace. And you comparing Bob Dylan to Dot Dot Curve? You need to be shot through the head. Really. Shot through the head for coming out with a comment like that. You listen... You understood Bob Dylan because someone explained lyrics to you? I know these guys. This, this bit cracked me up. I know these guys. They are good people. What's that got to do with their music being shit? What's that got to do with the lyrics being shit? They drove 12 hours yesterday, yesterday to play a 12 minute set for gas money. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care if they drove 20 fucking minutes in the snow and that they had blood all over their face and they got beaten up on the way and then they got put in jail and got raped in the fucking showers. I couldn't give a flying fuck. You know, I really couldn't care. What are you telling me this for? What's this got to do with their music being shit? Make a fucking valid point. Oh my fucking days. That's dedication. It's, what, it's dedication to drive a car 20 minutes in the rain. What's dedicated about that, you knob jockey? By the way, I'm a 26 year old married mother. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. Why do I fucking care? Not a 12 year old Mindy Malignancy. I have no idea what that means, you fuck-witted little cunt. Sorry for that, I shouldn't have said that word. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty, God help me. Okay, let's get back. Top five YouTube pause video. Is this camera on still? Yeah, just checking the camera's on. It's been on for 10 minutes, okay. I just, I don't want to make a 20 minute video and realise I never turned the fucking camera on. I've done it before and it, that's fucked up. You don't, you don't want to be in that situation. Things get broken, stuff. Okay, this was on the top five YouTube whores, SX, Phil, Shane Dawson, I, Justine, Shay Tars, Ray William Johnson video, the usual pricks. Okay, hey moron, whores are supposed to be women, the, 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 the. Pick up a fucking dictionary, you twat, yet. Yeah. There's plenty of, re plenty of things you can call a, you know, it's plenty of descriptions for whores. It's not just women who whore their body out sexually, yeah. trust me, there's plenty of reasons why people call people whores. Okay, hey moron, whores are supposed to be women. I wasted my time with your dumbass video. Yes, you did. You did. And you even wasted more time commenting on it, you stupid little fuck knuckle. You are not Australian or English accented. You are gay. Did you really just say that to me? You dumb piffle shit. I'm 
we're moving on to the next one, so I'm not even going to reply to that. Now. You can make your own mind up. Comment posted on, do I hate paedophiles, Gary Glitter. I do hate paedophiles, I've stated in previous videos. <sighs> you look... <laughs> you, you look like a pedo. <laughs> Fuck off you nonce. How do I look like a paedophile? What, what makes me look like a paedophile? I've got a black a black shirt on. I've I've got my either my strawy hat or my redneck hat on. <coughs> my O'Neill hat. What makes me look like a paedophile? Have I got an eight-year-old girl sitting next to me on the chair? Am I wearing glasses? Do I carry the same the same stereotypical bullshit that of wearing the pedo glasses? No. What makes me a paedophile? You fuck knuckle. Please explain. Fuck off, you nonce. Unbelievable. You out someone because there are, and I gave evidence that he is a paedophile. I had proven facts that he's a paedophile. Stuff was found on the guy's computer, Gary Glitter. He was caught, he was arrested. He's a paedophile. Yet you call someone who you're just watching simply a YouTube video on, and you're calling me a paedophile with no information, no proven facts or evidence. You, sir, are stupid. Okay. I got blocked by It's Me Gangster E. What a joke she is video. Why are you calling them whores? Grow up. She probably blocked you because you're old, creepy ass. Right, I'm 37 years old. It doesn't really constitute me to be fucking old. 37 is not old. So you must be about, you must be about 10 then. I didn't, I didn't, I checked your profile, but um, it's got the typical, I have no subscribers, I have no video views, look at me, look at me, look at me, I'm so intelligent. Go fuck your mother, yeah? Actually, it probably hasn't been long since you've came out of your mother's vagina, so... <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Okay. I shouldn't really be talking to children like this, this is bad. <coughs> okay. Grow up, she probably blocked you because you're... Oh, creepy ass was leaving. If you want to see creepy, I could, I could be creepy, trust me. I'm not going to be creepy though. Because your old creepy ass was leaving creepy or annoying comments. Get over yourself. And you honestly think someone like her cares that you made a video saying how she blocked you? I mean, let me just go back and say that. I'm just going to read that bit to you again. Get over yourself. And you honestly think someone like her cares that you made a video saying how she blocked you. Yeah, but she does care. That's why she blocked me in the first fucking place. You retard. And why are you saying anything about I Justine? She has nothing to do with it. I Justine is a whore. I Justine has hauled out loads of her videos by using misleading cap shots. I could go on for hours. It's me gangster E is her little sister. She learnt this from her bigger sister. She is now a whore. There are now two whores in the family. From what I believe, there's a third sister. She's not a whore yet, but she could become a whore very, very soon. I don't mean a whore in a sexual way where she's going out on the street and fucking people. I mean she's a whore because she whores out the system. Hence, more, wor more ways to say whore than one. So yeah, her sister has a lot of influence over her. That's why I brought up her sister's name. But... I didn't actually put I Justine in the title of that video, so I guess I'm not really misleading anyone like you stated. She has nothing to do with it. Stuff you. The only people that use the letters STFU in a sentence on any YouTube comment are probably under the ages of 15 and mentally and socially retarded. Stuff you, you old creepy pervert. Also, you're at least 40 years old. Well, you could have went into my channel and it would have told you I'm 37 years old. It's stated there in black and white, printed on my YouTube channel. See, that's evidence, you see? Facts. Get some before you comment on my video. Also, you're at least 40 years old. Why are you watching videos intended for the young community? People send me videos all the time and they hold a system out. I'm gonna, my channel's called Exposing You to Celebrities, so I expose them. I then make out email section specials to expose the fucktarded fantards who agree with these people. <sighs> okay, let's get on with the next comment. Okay, we've got about six more left. Fuck 
me, this is going to be a long video. Comment posted on Jimmy Carr on the Down syndrome joke that he came out with. I'm guessing you're British. <laughs> well done, you retard. Well done. You can tell a British accent. Good for you. I'm guessing you're British too. I'm guessing you're British too. Why, who else is British? But why do you have Australia as the text on your cap? Because I was wearing my Australia hat. Well, you see, when people go out and buy hats, you know, they wear them on all different kind of occasions, even when they make YouTube videos. And you don't have to live in a certain country to have an Australia hat. I just like, it was brought back as a gift for me from Australia. I also have a little koala bear somewhere, but what's your fucking point? It's just a hat. Yeah, you wear it on your head, you wait until it, you, you get all your use out of it and then you go out and buy a new one, like this one. And this has got O'Neill on it, so I suppose you're going to attack me for wearing an O'Neill hat now. Or you may say that I look like a redneck. Fill your boots, you dumb cunt. i really got to stop using that word. I, I don't, I'm sorry for using this word, I'll try not to use that word again. I don't like using that word, it's just I live in London and it's used a hell of a lot and I'm going to try and stop using it as much. So from now on, I'll just refer to everyone as piffle shits. Because that's my, that's technically my word. Oh, by the way, yeah, go on to Google, yeah, and type in piffle shit and see what comes up. <laughs> You'll see me everywhere, but <laughs> I'm only joking. No, but try it, just see what happens. Do you love Australia more than Great Britain? <sighs> that's a tough one. I live in the United Kingdom, I was born in the United Kingdom. So I say I... I love the United Kingdom more than Australia. But like everybody, I guess, when you live in England, you want to go to Australia because you're sick of England. So I'm sick of England at the moment. Oh, I'd love to go to Australia and live there for a year. But do I love Australia more than Great Britain? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Does that make me a bad person? I don't think it does. It's, not, it's, it's nice to get away on holiday sometimes, if you know what I mean. We, we, can, we can only dream. But it's only a hat, dude. Get over it. Okay. Comment posted on Shane Dawson is an attention whore. Sipping on the hater shade. What? Sipping on the hater shade. You are with two question marks. What? Sipping on the hater aid. Is that a question? You've got two question marks after saying sipping on the hater on the hater aid. What the fuck does that mean? Is that a question? Why have you put two question marks next to something that isn't even a fucking question? Jesus Christ, you are, he actually spelt you are right, oh my god, you can actually spell, you are, you come up with that kind of stuff and then you, you can actually spell something right, you are just mad because Shane has way more subscribers than you, I don't give a shit, actually I would like more subscribers but, neither here, everyone wants to have more subscribers and more people watching them but, I'm not jealous because of him, I stated in the video why I didn't like him, why would you assume that I'm jealous of him just because I state that I don't like him because of the way he hauls the system out? What does that got have to do? It's got nothing to do with it. That's way more subscribers than you. You are jealous. So if you're going to call anyone an attention whore, it's you, bitch. Yeah. What makes me an attention whore again? I give you valid facts. You don't give me any facts. You just call me an attention whore and say that I'm a whore. Next video. Onision is a douchebag, and he is a fucking douchebag. Dude, Onision's like my favourite YouTuber, other than Tobaskos. How can you hate him? Because not everyone on YouTube likes the same people, and not everyone on YouTube has the same fucking opinion. Hence, difference of opinion. This is why people put videos up in the first place. How can you hate on him? He's way funnier than you'll ever be. That's your opinion. I'm happy that you agree with that. Okay. Who's to say you're not exactly like him? Well, I don't haul myself out like he does. I don't use misleading cap shots or any of the other shit. Obviously, I'm not like him. Plus, he's a lying bullshit artist. And he does everything to get attention onto his channel to make money. He's an attention whore. How can you not see that? Seeing as you're doing exactly what you say he does, talk shit. Bravo, that was a good one. I, I can't come back to you on that one. <laughs> you totally got me, dude. And don't hate on me, because I know my videos are crap. But really. Well, I'm not going to go in and watch your videos, because you already sound like a retard. I think you'll probably talk like an even bigger one. 
Onision is like one million times X better than you. Go fuck yourself, you piffle shit. Okay, here we go. Oh no, we've just been through that one. Why didn't that delete? No jump cuts needed. <laughs> I'm sure you'll stay with me on this video. Okay, Broken Side Freaks Review. Continuing with that, oh, he must have left about three emails. Okay, this is the beginning, this is the first. You notice that all sync kids will leave you two emails and not one. If you've ever stuck up slagging off a sync kid or broken, broken side or blunder dance hall, they'll always send you two emails, not one, because they are retarded. And it's not that they, you know what I mean? They, they could fit like with the amount of words they have just in one, but they have to put it in two to try and get more of your attention. Okay, this is how it starts off. This is a broken side fan. Listen, bud. He didn't spell listen right either. Listen, bud. You're talking about something you don't know about. Scene. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Scene is not a music genre. You are right. I know I'm right. But it's a style of look. And if you knew Broken Side at all, you would know that they're a hip hop group that happens to scream. Oh, Jesus Christ. And they're. And they are not, you mean they are not, and they are not a band, they are a group. I call them a group because a group is a group of assholes like Broken Side put together and a band is, a, is people who are formed together and they can play their musical instruments. So they are a group. You're right about, he spelt about B-A-B-A-O-U-T. You are right about that because they don't use instruments, he couldn't spell instruments right either. They use a keyboard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You are right because they don't use instruments and then your next comment after that is they use a keyboard. You do realise that a keyboard is a motherfucking instrument. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you people, man? A fucking keyboard is an instrument. So is drums and electric guitar. You fucked hard. Jesus Christ, they don't use instruments. Then they put, they use a keyboard. Bullet to the head for you, you retard, man. Jesus Christ. And... Uh, and other technical instruments. Because they don't use instruments, then you put, they use a keyboard and other technical instruments. How the fuck did you survive the abortion, you pleb? Jesus Christ. They go on there to make people happy. The musicians, they go on there to make music, not make people happy, you dildo. I'm losing patience with this. And like this, and, and like the sound they produce. Oh God, help me. Do I believe in abortion? Sometimes. Fucking sometimes, man. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the first one. I'm deleting that one as well. Okay, comment posted on... Uh, there was a second part to that email, but I'm not reading it out because I'm sick of... I just deleted it by mistake anyway. Comment posted on, it's me gangster remembering 9-11. You are not a YouTuber. Right. I'm on YouTube. I've just put up a video. I'm a fucking YouTuber. What part of that don't you understand, you stupid little bitch? <laughs> You're not a YouTuber, you dickhead. Boing. I'm a dickhead again. You're just making the, you're just making the rest of Australians look bad. <laughs> I'm Australian again. <sighs> like that has anything to do... Oh, fuck, I mean, I'm British. I'm, I'm, I live in London. You, go, into my, go into my profile page. I live in London. I'm 37 years old. My name's Watchdog Central. Doesn't take a genius. Let's get your facts right. There's no fucking valid facts with these people. They just ma they assume shit. I mean, can't you tell I'm English by the way I talk? You fucking pleb. You are just making the rest of Australians look bad. I don't like her. You don't like her, Justine, but you're defending her. I don't like her, but real, real YouTubers like I, Justine, so obviously you do like her, try to get as many views as they can because it's how they make a living. It's not how that, look, she makes, she wants to make a living on YouTube, that's her option. Most YouTubers come on here just to give their opinions for a bit of fun, to put the, put a couple of guitar videos up. I've got guitar videos up as well on my other channel. I just, we, we all like doing different things on YouTube. We, it's not people just to make a living, just to make money. Of course, that's what YouTube want it to be and Google want it to be now, but it's not what it was technically made for. It was for people to come on here and have a fucking laugh. But over the years, oh, when I first started this channel, my original channel, 
which was called Help the Foxes, which isn't up anymore. I stuck guitar stuff up because that's what I wanted to do. But over the two years that I've been on YouTube, up to when I created Watchdog Central, I came across such things as fantards and retards on YouTube. That's what you are, yeah? I'm speaking to the people who are commenting on these videos. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. It's because over the two years of actually putting decent videos up and trying to get noticed on YouTube for my talent or maybe playing a fucking guitar, I've came across dumb assholes who don't realise what YouTube was all about originally. So now we have people giving our opinions. So if anybody's to blame for me giving my opinion on YouTube now, it's you, you little fucktard, for coming out with these stupid comments in the first place and believing that only videos that go up on YouTube should be for people who are doing it as a professional fucking career. You fucking dumb assholes. Grow up. You grow up in a few years, you wonder why you listen to this stupid shit brick in the first place. And then you realise, shit, I've got to go out and get a fucking job now. And you're going to have issues because you are socially and mentally retarded. So go fuck your mother. Okay. To get as many used to make a living. If you were a YouTuber, you would know that. I'm on YouTube, I am a YouTuber. You dumb prick. Okay, next one. Comment post, I've got four left. Comment posted on design, the skyline sucks. Listen. If you can make an emo, as you call it, song, that is better than surrounded by silence, then I will respect your opinion. So all I have to do is make a song that's better than a song by, surround, by um, Broken Side. I mean, sorry, Design the Skyline. All I have to do is make a video, or I mean a song, that's better than Design the Skyline, and then you'll respect my opinion that Design the Skyline is shit. Well, that wouldn't be too high, actually, because all I have to do... Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do, do it right now for you. This is, is this is going to be a first. Okay, one second. Okay, I've got a pen. Here's a pen, and I've got a phone. Okay. I feel like the sky's falling down on me. There you go. I just created a better song, the motherfucking broken side, using a telephone, a fucking pen, and my voice, and I'm a shit singer as well. And I've just done it. So you respect my opinion now. Thank you for respecting my opinion. Peace out, guys. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh, God. Okay, designer skyline again. You are a stupid fat ass. Man, you are so observant. I do have a little bit of chubby chub chub on my cheeks. Thank you. I do like my... I'm actually going to have some rhubarb pie in a minute after I've made this. And I'm going to get even chubby for chubby chubby chubby. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. I've been, I've, I've been called fat all my life, son. It's the wall William Johnson say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Multiple personality disorder. He pops up at any time. There's ten people inside me, baby. Remember that. Okay, back to Watchdog Central. Okay. You're a stupid fat ass. They're a band. And they make great music. And the Surrounded by Silence is a demo, you stupid ass. Yes, because when I actually reviewed that song, they didn't have any other songs that were available for me to listen to. I noticed that as soon as I stuck up this video, about six months later, everyone's telling me, why don't you listen to, you should have listened to their new album before you made this video. How could I have made a video on their new album if they hadn't fucking made it yet, you fucking idiots? Explain how I'm going to, next thing I'm going to do on a video for you guys is, I'm going to make a review on Blood on the Dance Floor's next album, not the one that they've just previously made, or the one that they made after that, which hasn't been released yet because it hasn't been wrote yet, but I'm going to make one three albums in front that they haven't even thought, they're going to make it in about ten years, I'm going to make a video for this in about a week, and it's going to contain ten songs, and I'm going to read the lyrics out to you, but Blood on the Dance Floor haven't even wrote them yet, do you see where I'm going with this? Are you fucking retarded? Oh, how am I supposed to review and listen to songs if I haven't heard them yet because they haven't been made yet? Oh, I need a shotgun right now. Okay. The new album is way better because I couldn't have heard it. So shut up and you can't judge them on one fucking song. They only release one song so I can only judge them on one song. At the time, obviously that makes more sense. They're not emo, they're seen. I never stated they were emo, did I? Okay, maybe I did state they were emo. I was fucked up at the time. But I did actually stick an annotation on that video for half the video stating I meant seen. If you've never seen that, then you probably are mentally retarded. And they're metalcore. They're not emo, they're seen and they're metalcore. So they're seen and metalcore. Okay. It's good to know. Metalcore. You're stupid as fuck. I know I am. I know, because... I reviewed a song before re reviewing an album that they never made yet, so I must be stupid. <laughs> fucking dumb shits. I'm 
Okay guys, that was the part of the video where I just used a jump cut because there was two emails that I'd already used in a previous email section and I forgot to delete them. So, uh, this is the final email and I saved this one to last because it was an absolute gem. Retard, go fuck yourself with a crucifix. <laughs> okay, like, go fuck, why are you crucifix it? What was... What's your fascination with crucifix? Is it is this a, is this like a scene kid thing or where you're I don't know something to do with the dark side or something that you crucifix? Go fuck yourself with a crucifix, son. Damien Omen six 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 up your asshole. Listen, you motherfucker. Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, I'm like the poon. Yeah, I sh I my ass is for exit only, no entry. Comprage. You, you 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 understand what the fuck I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't even. I'm dreading my prostate exam when I'm about 50 years old or whatever age. I'm dreading that shit. I said it to my dad about a year ago. I actually literally said to my dad that I don't want to go in for a prostate exam because the thought of some human being shoving their finger up my asshole doesn't exactly appeal to me. And I said that I would rather die, croak, bite the dust in a year or two years rather than at 50 have to go into a hospital and have someone poke their finger up my ass, with a glove or not, regardless, it ain't happening, you know? I'd rather get cancer and die than have some shit brick shove their finger up my asshole. That, that's my opinion anyway, I'll fucking stand by that. Trust me, I ain't never going in for no prostate exam. Fuck that, I hope some new technology comes along, but... Nah man, I ain't, I ain't into that shit. But, go f why would I want to shove a crucifix up my ass for? You know? I'm pretty sure that would be against all kinds of religions. <laughs> you know, I, if I shoved the crucifix up my ass, I would get slated for that hard. So, that's never going to happen. But I did actually reply to this person. I said, God bless you, my child. And she thought she, or he, sure, I don't know if it's a he or she, but it came back with another reply saying, Hail Satan. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're so clever, aren't you? You're so brave. You're so courageous. Hail Satan, you fucking dumb shit. End of video. Peace out, bitches.